Remember that song? Bow, 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 bow. Anyway, uh, what's going on, everybody? Uh, serious, it's a serious pop poop cast today. Uh, it's a, on a serious note, uh, I've, I, I've thought about things, uh, I've been talking to my therapist, and, uh, you know, I go in there every fucking week, and it, uh, you know, to, to the shrink and everything, and, uh, you know, they try to talk you down from the, the fucking anger outburst. He, uh, he called me in for an emergency session, and, uh, you know, he tells me, he's like, dude, you gotta lay off this Pedro, like, just give him a break, I, I, I and he's like, all right, fine, you know. I got a cool uh, shrink. He's one of those fucking old school guys with the, you know, it's like uh, the Freudian guy. Who, like he's this old guy who sits there with a fucking cigar, you know, and he just yells at you. He's like, "You're, f- I'm not, I'm not into this this millennial fucking hand holding shit." I'm gonna fucking tell you, you know, it's cool. You know, he kicks, he, you know, he kicks you upside the head a little. You know, this is the kind of shrinks you want. But anyway, he's like telling me, dude, you, you, how much longer are you gonna go on with this this door douche stuff? Whatever you call this guy. He's like, I saw a few of your videos and you gotta, I, I, look, we gotta stop this. I think, and he's like, I think what you should do, and I'm not even joking. He, he tells me, look, you should just try to make amends with this guy and uh, maybe offer uh, the Yawa branch or, uh, I think that's what he said. You know, you, you do that thing. I think it's like a peace offering. So, I'm like, fine. You know, it's just, I just can't resist. This is too fucking funny with this guy. Like, he's, uh, I'm trying to tell fucking my shrink here. He's like, dude, but he's, it's, every fucking day there's just, just you know, he's, he puts out this stuff and it's just like poopable. And he's like, give me ammunition every day. And he's like, oh, look, you got to stop. Okay. This is not helping. He's like, you're a fucked up dude. You know that. I'm like, yeah, fine. Can't argue with that. But anyway, uh, so he's like, look, we need to, we need to amp up the fucking, uh, the treatment here and uh you know we gotta we gotta we gotta go another route so i'm like fine that's what it, so what anyway to make a long story short what uh what we came up with i'm gonna fucking attempt it in my way to uh to make up with uh pedro door douche san diego sandy i call him san diego and then uh you know he was after he drove around with fucking covid and he got fired from doordash he became uh full-time uber driver so now you know he's pedro uber douche so you know i kind of fucking have to you have to reinvent the wheel with this monkey i'm sorry no he's not a monkey why did i say that fuck stop stop jesus fuck see it's like it's all unconscious it's autopilot we've been discussing this so uh so after the session i'm come back here and i'm thinking about this and i'm like all right fine what could i do and uh you know i'm sure he's i'm sure he's an all right guy you know, but whatever. I have to just tell myself that. Fine. I know my fucking shrink's listening. So what I'm thinking of doing is, uh, you know, offering a peace offer soon. Maybe we can offer him peace offering. Maybe we can make up and, uh, you know, finally put this to bed. So what I'm thinking of doing is uh, I got I, I was writing I was writing down a few things here. I'm like, OK, I come up with three things and I don't know what to do. It's a problem with all of them because i'm gonna need an address to send this shit to um it's no you know so the so what i was thinking is uh you know the first thing what could i do what does this guy like to eat what does he what does he maybe need sort of like a physical product or what what could i do that would just fucking like you know I don't know. I, I know nothing about him other than the shit that he fucking talks on his channel. And it's just like, I'm thinking maybe I could give him a book to read because he's, I don't know. He doesn't appear to be well read. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I think he, see, I see, I, I just have to like say what I think though. I know this is kind of mean, but I, you know, I don't think he graduated high school. Come on. But Whatever. It happens. There's plenty of successful people out there that never went to college or dropped out of high school. Yeah, they're out there. One in a million. I don't think it's this guy, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going the other way. Shit. God damn it. All right. So I'm thinking, all right, the first thing I'm looking at him and, uh, you know, he's a real hairy guy. Okay. Obviously, fucking everybody knows that. This guy has more fucking... This, this 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 guy has more hair coming out of every 
inch of his body in a fucking chia pet. Okay, I. So I'm thinking, all right. So there's this thing called the lawnmower. 2.0, I think it is. I see these uh, these ads that pop up a lot on the, you know when you're when you're on YouTube or whatever, and you got you know you click these fucking things off. But uh, you know this thing is like a manscaper. It's just like this. Uh, it's specifically for men. It's weird. I've seen this, and yeah, I guess yeah, you know mainly guys get it to, to to shave their nads or whatever, and fucking trim up the fucking uh, you know the carpet downstairs, whatever. Because yeah, you know, we all got that. Uh, you know. You, you can't go into a fucking, uh, uh, you know, like one of those, uh, you know, w- the women go and get fucking waxed. That's that's weird. It's like, uh, I remember that episode on uh, Californication. I don't know if you ever watched that show. Uh, fucking this guy comes into Charlie's wife's because she does waxes and, she, and, and this guy, and she, he goes, D- baby, do we do balls? This guy uh, wanted to get his balls fucking waxed. And she's like, no. We don't do balls. I mean, that would be insane. Imagine that. Anyway, getting off topic here. So there's this fucking lawnmower 3.2.0 or whatever. So uh, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking Pedro Uber douche could fucking use that. I mean, looking at the guy. I mean, forget about his face. Forget about his hair. This, I mean, I'm thinking maybe give him some fucking razors or a fucking a year's uh, gift gift certificate or gift card for fucking. Uh, for the fucking razors, but you know that ain't gonna cut it. You need to really just trim the fuck out of that body, the Pedro. I mean, you you can't even get to the razor on your face. You got to fucking really fucking hack away that fucking brush, you know. So I'm thinking a lawnmower 2.0. Uh, you know, you get in there and you just you know you just fucking look like a human again, not a fucking primate. I mean, this guy looks like a fucking ape at a zoo. But I, whatever. I'm all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm, this is a fucking process, okay? Jesus, like, uh, you can't expect people to change overnight, all right? So anyway, so that's the first thing. So the second thing is, and this is just me, like, I can't figure out what he would like, okay? So I'm like, like, this may be mean, but whatever, but I'm thinking like a box of crickets because I'm thinking... He looks like a reptile, too. I mean, he's reptilian. I don't know fucking know. And he eats crickets. I and mean, what do you feed reptiles? Crickets, right? Live crickets. So I don't know. I get a hand on these things. Because, you know, he did challenge me to a fucking boxing match. You know, we all know. Rah, 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 rah. He ran his fucking mouth. And then he fucking regretted it. And, you know, he's kind of, you know, he's kind of a real weak guy. So that's fine. There's plenty of, you know, guys out there. You know, the, the real men to go off to fight the battles in, in war or whatever. We need fucking some men to stay home with the fucking women and children and hide under the goddamn table. Fuck, did I just do it again? Stop it already. Fuck. See, ugh, my fucking shrink's gonna... He's gonna really fucking yell at me. But whatever, I, you know, I, I look, I'm trying out there, okay? So... I'm thinking, you know, what do you send reptiles? You send them fucking crickets. So I don't know. I got to send live crickets. That's a whole fucking thing. I know I got to make sure they're fucking, you know, shipped in the container. I don't know. I, even know. I don't even know if that's possible. Okay. Don't even know if that's possible. And uh, the reason I bring up the crickets is because, you know, you challenged me and then I accepted because, you know, he's just like, I'm not going to run from somebody threatening me here. And it's like, I'll answer to that. But, you know, and then it went by and then I did, you know, you heard the video in the whole month of March. It was crickets from him. Silence. Crickets chirping. So I'm figuring, you know, that might, he seems to like that. So I don't know. So whatever, whatever. So that's the that's the other thing. So the third thing, though, I'm leaning towards because this is more of like a peace offering that in his uh, in his world and and who he's around. So I'm thinking, uh, you know, instead of doing like cookies and candies and like you know those gift pair gift packages, I think Roy got one. Somebody sent him. You know, you put yeah, there's like soap in there. There's like I don't know. There's rags. There's toilet paper. There's fucking uh, you know. Hand wipes. I don't fucking... Yeah, I never got one. It's kind of gay, but whatever. Uh, so, what I'm thinking is uh, giving them like a monkey care package, like with a fucking bunch of bananas, like a big stacks of bananas in there, and just putting in this fucking like thing and sending it with a bow on top, right? Yeah, I don't know, because he looks like a monkey. We all know he looks like a fucking chimp. Uh, he's hit the hairy thing. I don't know. Maybe I could put the lawnmower in the basket and then I don't think the crickets, the crickets might fucking get out of there. I don't know. I, I don't want to, I don't want problems with that. 
So I'm thinking the stack of bananas and, uh, you know, that's what I'm thinking. But here's the thing. Here's the problem with the stack of bananas. Okay, and this is in all fucking seriousness. I am not ch- kidding about this. I'm going to need a fucking address. I don't know where to find this guy. You know, I could pay, you know, I could use some cryptocurrency on the fucking dark web. You know, you could easily get a hacker. You could easily find any, you know, I could use a connection in law enforcement, military. But it's just like, ah, this is going to fucking take a minute. You could do the fucking searches online to find out where this asshole lives. I'm, I'm sorry. He's not an asshole. Fuck, I keep doing it. Fuck. Anyway, I'm sorry. It's just, it's going to take time. But anyway, I'm thinking, uh, I don't, you know, he's in St. Louis somewhere. I know he lives in a shitty area of town uh, with his Captain Crunch in the cupboard and stuff. And, you know, we all we all know that. I'm not going to, you know, hey, that's fine. He likes Captain Crunch. He likes Captain Crunch. Whatever. Some people like Wheaties. But uh, I'm thinking, where am I going to send this? All right. So the first thing that pops in my head is I'm thinking the St. Louis Zoo in the fucking primate section. I'm thinking that this guy has a cage. He rents a fucking cage with other monkeys in the fucking St. Louis Zoo. I think there's a St. Louis Zoo, is there? That would make sense. I mean, I don't know. I, that would be just like, all right, if I'm like trying to find this guy, that's where I go first, the fucking zoo, okay? Because he, yeah, I don't know. He looks like a primate. I, I think he has a, I think he fucking lives in the fucking primate section. He may fucking rent it out. I don't know. So... That's 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 it. But then, uh, you know, you know, if I send the care package, the problem with that is I send the fucking stack of bananas in the fucking care package. It gets there. I got instructions to the zookeeper. Like, look, give this to fucking Pedro door douches. Could go give put it in a cage. And then the thing is, I risk, though. Here's the thing. I don't know if he lives alone. There most likely he lives with other chimps in there. And there's it might be like a fucking 400 pound ape in there. I don't know. So you think about this for a minute. And here's the problem. If I get the bananas sent to him and the zookeeper just is dumb enough to go stick those bananas in the cage with a fucking what what are the chances that you know given that door douche is kind of wimp and he backs down and he's not really that tough you know like with the fucking whole boxing thing with me he you know he never showed up so i'm thinking he's gonna get his they might fucking do a number on you throw those fucking bananas in there that fucking four i don't want to i don't want to get this guy hurt i don't want a fucking 400 pound ape or all these other little chimps fucking beating the hell out of him for the stack of bananas i i don't want to add to the problem okay so i don't know there's a problem with all this shit you know there's the crickets keeping them alive the fucking stack of bananas at the zoo where he lives like just uh you know i I don't want him to get beat by the if he lives with other fucking hey, I have to find out if he fucking lives in if he lives in his own cage at the fucking zoo, no problem. But if there's other fucking apes in there and chimps, I, no way, they'll beat the hell out of him for these bananas. No fucking way. Okay. So then the lawnmower thing, the, the, how, like my whole fucking reasoning behind the fucking lawnmower, uh, you know, sending him that to fucking you know to whack up his body with the fucking hair, you know, trim that shit up because the way I see it. He goes through women like, like, you know, like that Sega Saturn asshole in Kansas, uh, you know, goes through fucking, uh, you know, Natty Ice, the fucking, or Bud Light, or whatever he fucking drink. He fucking, like, clockwork. I mean, it's shit. So, it's like, we know he picked up the fucking girl that he's currently with, and he had the little baby with at the, you know, at the high school, when he went trolling for fucking chicks back in the days, and this girl's like, oh, yeah, really? You can have a YouTube channel? You can have a fucking YouTube channel. And I could get some of that money. Oh, this is going to be great, man. I'm going to drop out and go with you. And so, you know, he moved her in and blah, 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 blah. We know he has a sex addiction. And I'm not even going to touch that. I mean, I was thinking of doing something with that. But now nah, that's that's too low. But, you know, the, the guy the guy has, he's like a walking penis. He always has the fucking thing out. And any anytime a new piece of uh, tail you know, attracts his attention, his fucking head whips around in his fucking dick, he has his dick out of his pants, and you know, you know what happens, he has like seven or eight kids, and we, you know, you know he's probably gonna fucking get rid of the current one and go to another one pretty soon, so the thing is, Pedro, you gotta fucking hack that hair up, who knows, I mean, look at the hair on his head, his face, I mean, God, imagine when he strips his clothes off, and I don't want to see that. That no way. But I mean, I'm thinking for these other girls. I mean, you don't want to fucking gross him out because I think as a whole, girls don't like guys with a lot of fucking body hair, and he's got a major one with the fucking chimp thing going on. 
I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't see the whole fucking primate attraction, but I don't know. Maybe the girl got a, maybe this girl's hairy as fuck too. I don't, who knows? Let's not get off on the fucking, stop, just stop. Let's not go that route, okay? I'm trying to do the right thing here. It may be fucking weird, but it's my way, okay? So, you know, you, you, PJ, you got to fucking police that shit up. You got to trim that crap up. Keep it tight and, uh, you know, for the next chick, Okay. So that's one. That's another thing with the lawnmower. So I don't know. So that's where that's where it's at. Uh, I really think this will do good for our relationship. I think it's gonna just like give like a fucking peace offering. I think we'll be okay. We can, you know, I, I you know, me working with my shrink, and uh, you know the so the lawnmower, the the you know the manscaping, uh, you know the like. That's one. This the the fucking crickets. I explained that. Or the fucking stack of bananas at the zoo where he lives. I don't. I don't know. Put it in the comments. I'm gonna fucking take a poll after this thing uh, posts, or maybe before. I don't know. Probably before, because it'll shock a lot of people. They're like, "What the fuck is this?" What? Okay. So I'm thinking though, no, the stack of bananas might be the best thing if he lives in his own cage at the fucking St. Louis Zoo. Okay. To me, that'll. You know, we know fucking monkeys and primates, they love bananas. So I'm thinking that all like, okay, you give them, you know, if it's like a chick, you give them chocolates and, they, you know, they like that. And then they, you know, you get laid and stuff. But I, you know, I, I'm not, I don't want this guy, <laughs> nothing like that. That's fucking weird. But, um, uh, yeah, I'm thinking the stack of bananas. So, um, that's, that's, that's what I wanted to say. I just went to, uh, you know, I had a couple people saying, look, take it easy on this guy. It's like, okay, I'm like, yeah, I know. He, you know, I called him out. It was a little overboard with the, you know, calling him out. But yeah, hey, fucking, this is what happens when you don't show up. And you challenge people and you expect people just to put up with your fucking bullying uh, challenges for, uh, you know, your inability to fucking have a sense of humor. I, I don't know what to tell you. You know, he's done everything under the sun from blaming me for crank calling him six times or some shit. Remember that fucking video like six months ago? This asshole. Oh, no. He, shit. Stop. He's not an asshole. My shrink. Okay. So he's got a, you know, where was I going? This is fucking ADD. Where's these fucking pills, man? I got to fucking take an extra one. This is unbelievable. All right. There it is. All right. So, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to fucking hurt this guy's feelings anymore because he's got he has a tough time with life i mean just look at the fucking guy and what comes out of his mouth and all the mouths he has to feed oh my god this guy probably has a fucking backlog in the courts with uh child support i can't imagine how many of his exes are suing him and he, he's got a fucking dash like fucking 24 7 just to fucking had his hold his head above water holy shit i wouldn't want to be that guy and walk a day in his life for fucking two seconds. And then he's got an asshole like me fucking shitting on him and making fun of his videos. Well, you know, which he puts out there for everybody to see. And he turns the fucking comment section on. All right. I'm getting fucking wound up. All right. So there's a lot of similarities recently be him, between him and Roy that uh, Roy didn't like. And then I... What was that? Oh, I had the... Uh, hang on a second. Okay. We had some technical difficulties. So, yeah, Roy, uh, you know, he's kind of, I don't know. I don't know why people just roll to this puss bag mentality where, you know, oh, Roy was this uh, free speech supporter. Now he's not. Now he's like, no, I'm going to be selective and I'm going to hit the block button. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ. Here we go again. I'm the last one out there that just lets anybody, lets anything fucking go on the channel. That's how it should be. But these fucking YouTube comp this company, Google, Alphabet, that own YouTube and Facebook, you know, you gotta, they gotta toe the line, and you can't, there's no, f you know, there's no freedom. I'll tell you why, closing, there's a great fucking news site, it's called Rumble. It's uh, Can Canada-based, and a lot of, you know, a lot of these conservative talk shows, you know, the people, you know, because all these, uh, these tech companies are all fucking liberal-owned, like Amazon, and fucking Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, whatever the fuck, Tesla, you know, all these fucking companies... You know, they're, they're just a haven for fucking liberal assholes to fucking, you know, if they don't like something, you know, they just fucking, oh, no, this is our policy, and they boom, boom delete. So, Rumble's like a, 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 a newer thing. It's gaining traction. A lot of the conservative talk show hosts that were, you know, kicked off of fucking YouTube, they go on uh, Rumble, and it's, it, you know, it's basically like a lot more goes. It's more free speech oriented. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So, check, out, check that out. 
uh, you know, you'll find a lot more content than you wouldn't find on YouTube. But anyway, uh, that is the Proopcast today. And uh, put it in. The, don't forget to fucking let me know either the fucking lawnmower, the stack of bananas, or the crickets. Which which care package, which peace offering do you think that I should give Pedro Dordouche, Pedro Uber Douche Santiago to just just, just bury the hatchet? And because uh, my shrink told me that, and uh, you know I don't, I gotta go to this fucking shrink now once a week. He's fucking telling me maybe two times. I don't I don't want to have to listen to him fucking talk about this so i'm like i gotta shut him up so i'm like fucking hey let's this is what i come up with okay so with that being said hope you enjoyed the poop cast you never know when i'm gonna drop the mic on you here and uh you know i i'll tell you what i got a new one coming up um well i'll leave it up I'll, i'll talk about it later it's it's a fucking real hated guy on the internet i mean this this guy's a fucking he's affiliated with the stupid gig tubing community yeah uh you'll know exactly who i mean when this fucking when i uh release that one but anyway as usual stay net well no i can't say stay negative my my fucking shrink's gonna uh, stay positive negative anyway uh uh go fuck yourselves i really can't say that i gotta change all these catchphrases so we'll just leave it at that you know stay negative go fuck yourself and as usual it was actually go fuck yourself supposed to be after that Shit, I fucked it up. See, you see, you just fuck with how I am, and then it's just it doesn't work. So, whatever. I'll see you guys later. God damn it. <laughs>